Wow, this is impressive. So day 15 of my GR11 adventure and I'm in the Odessa Canyon. Um, magnificent limestone canyon with fantastic waterfalls cascading in their way down. And I've got to climb up that hill behind me uh, where I'm allowed to put my tent down next to the refuge gorlis. Um, because I'm in the National Park, there are restrictions on camping. Now, uh, last night I spoke to the camera, I was taking a rest day in Tawla. I'm afraid that didn't uh, pan out. Every campsite in Tawla was booked out, so I uh, stealth camped just outside the uh, town and set off early this morning to uh, make my way into the canyon. And, uh, well, what a glorious day to be here. So, uh, yeah. Very impressed. Well, good morning, and good morning from day 18 of my GR11 adventure. Early start this morning. I'm uh, heading down to the small town of Parzan to resupply. I'm slightly behind schedule, but deliberately so. Um, when I originally planned this trip, I was to fly out on the 3rd of August. And uh, two council flights later, and the only flight I could get was to Madrid on the 30th of July. Now, I'd already built six spare days into my original itinerary, so I now have 10. So that's why I've been having some shorter days uh, to pad it out a little bit. Um, but, you know, hanging around and looking at the scenery is fantastic. Great way of uh, traveling through the, uh, the Pyrenees. And um, uh, the last couple of days have been superb. Once I'd left the refugio to Penev, I uh, got go to Lithori. I uh, climbed over the Colado and Nisclo, and that was my hardest climb this trip so far, energy wise. And ironically, uh, I treated myself to a meal in the refugio, and it was rubbish. And then the next day, that's why I had no energy. Got to the top of that, and it looked like a sheer drop straight off the top, and uh, there was a good path going down. I camped halfway down there, then I descended into the valley, and then I climbed up yesterday with the Cirque de Panetta behind me and uh, 
superb, superb views. Um, so once I resupply in Parzan today, I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, head off back into the high mountains, and in a couple of days' time, I hope to be camping at the Ibon de la Doneta. Uh Great seeing some vultures, well, not some vultures. I reckon every single vulture in the Pyrenees was uh, hanging around the carcass of a cow uh, in the valley that I walked through, and. Um, Griffon vultures, uh, for what I identified, there may have been others there, I don't know, but they were enormous. And uh, what I couldn't see, because it was quite a long way from me, that was zoomed right in to get what I did. But there were literally hundreds, maybe possibly a thousand uh, vultures just sat uh, on the grass in the area of the cow, either waiting their turn or digesting what they'd already had. So uh, really pleased to see that as well. But trip going well and uh, looking forward to another day in the sun. Well, good morning and good morning from day 20 of my GR11 adventure. I'm sat on top of the Colado de la Plana, a 2,700 meter col, and I've diverted from the GR11 for a couple of days. There's a variation in the book which uh, describes 
the GR11.2 and that's what I'm doing. So I've got some wrongs to right. I said in uh, the second week when I climbed the Cuello de Tabare that I crossed the highest col. Well, strictly speaking, that was true for the GR11 itself, but because I've diverted from the GR11, I climbed a col yesterday called the Colado Arista, and that was 2864 meters, so higher, but strictly speaking, not on the GR11. Anyway, um, fantastic mountain scenery. Came over the Colado Arista yesterday down to the Ibon de la Doneta, and then in the afternoon, uh, the clouds started building, uh, had some rain as I was approaching my uh, my camp spot at uh, Ibon Irista. And um, in the evening, we had an almighty um, downpour, um, thunder and lightning and hailstones, really large hailstones. Um, my tarp tent held up pretty well. I had it set up with the um, poles quite high. Um, in hindsight, they're assuming lower um, top tent. The, the, the Cuban fiber doesn't uh, doesn't leak, of course, but it was the bouncing hailstones that were bouncing underneath the awning, and then hitting the inner, which was the issue. So uh, I had to bring everything in and um, try and keep everything dry, and I did. Uh, but uh, lesson learned there for me that. Uh, if I think it's going to rain, uh, pitch the tarp tent uh, lower to the ground, get the awning lower, lower down, because uh, that was pretty brutal, um, pretty brutal storm yesterday. So I'm going to descend now um, from this uh, col um, uh, down to uh, towards Benasca, and uh, this is day 20. So um, uh, day 21 uh, tomorrow, we'll be moving into the. Uh, uh, moving further east towards Andorra, but uh, I don't think I'm going to get to Andorra for, for a week or so, but uh, it's, uh, it's not far away and um, week three nearly done, so uh, I do hope you're enjoying these videos as much as I'm enjoying making them, uh, as I keep saying, for my own memories, and it's true, it's what it's for, it's for my memories, but I'm happy to share them and uh, look forward to seeing uh, the start of week four.